My name is The Adipose and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you could make an advanced video using a free editor that includes photos, videos, captions, titles, um, timings, music, transitions and loads more. Okay, well, greetings and welcome to uh, my advanced uh, YouTube editor um, tutorial. I'm going to assume you have seen the video entitled um, My First Video, where we made a very simple but effective video um, using just a few photos and um, some uh, music from, from the YouTube um, editor. But we're going to use the YouTube editor again, but this time we're going to go a lot more advanced. So please do check out um, that first video first. Um, and we're going to start off exactly as we did before, going into the photo slideshow um, option on YouTube. Now, um, of course, you can upload completely new photos for this, but if you've already done one already, you'll already have some, some albums available. And of course, you can, these can be photos you have taken yourself. Um, these can be um, photo uh, copyright free photos you've got off Google or, or anything you want and it can even actually be videos um, that you have already uploaded if you upload some videos privately um, you can then actually use those videos and edit, edit them together to make one new bigger video but we'll, we'll come to that all a little bit later but for now I'm gonna grab the album um, that I um, uploaded last time which was of my little trip to the Doctor Who exhibition and but this time we're gonna do something a lot more advanced with it um, same thing as before um, I can choose the order um, um, that everything goes in um, so I think I'll just maybe kind of chuck them around a little bit like this to maybe get a bit of kind of variety in like that and once I'm ready um, I'm gonna click um, next and this is where we were before this is where we put together um, just the kind of music and stuff like that but this time we're gonna click this button here which says advanced editor and this is where the magic happens because all of a sudden rather than just having a, a very good but very simple video of um, one photo after another with one track we now have a lot more options with what we can do and that means that the possibilities here are, are a lot greater um, so this could be um, a record of a holiday this could be a record of a trip this could could be a tutorial um, this could be um, like a, a how-to on a game video um, this could uh, be all sorts of things um, really um, a, in, including um, even a kind of a, a description of yourself and your channel um, that you you can put together but let me show you what we can do here um, and it's set it up just as we have would have had before with um, video uh, transition video transition video transition but this time we can see each individual piece of that um, obviously this is the photo if I click on it there and then this little white thing here is the transition between this 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 um, photograph and the next one and then the same again photograph transition and all of these are editable let me show you some examples if I click on this one here you can see it's going to currently run for four seconds but if I put my mouse over either side of this um, photograph I can actually pull it out so if I pull that there look you can now see it's five seconds seven seconds eight seconds uh, ten seconds um, I could pull it out as far as I want and that hasn't affected the other photographs in this montage and what that means is we can have some which last for a really long time some that are really short some that are in between just depending on what we want to show um, so for example if I was showing three angles of the same object I could show those quite quickly if I'm showing a brand new kind of item or I it's a tutorial where people need to kind of look carefully at the picture or uh, information then obviously that one's going to be a lot longer we've also got a pair of scissors in the middle and that means I can actually chop this this uh, particular photograph or video clip um, in two decide where I want to chop it for the photograph it probably doesn't really matter but we can go five and five and then I've got two copies of that photograph which means I can do different things and I'll come up to what you can do in a minute um, different things to each one uh, and note at the moment there's no transition in between the two we can add those later and if you ever want to get rid of one you can just click the X and and we and, and, and that will delete it so the first thing that we can do is we can alter um, the length so let's just draw that one out a little bit and let's make this one here um, really short just for an example 
Now we can also um, do various effects to the videos itself, to the to the photos or clips as well. Um, if when you click on one, you should see this particular. Um, option screen comes up here uh, which is all of the different things we can do to it I can adjust the brightness and the contrast I'll need to enable that there um, but if you watch the little preview there I could push the brightness right up like that I could push the contrast um, right down to kind of give it a very well I can lose the detail completely or I can push the contrast um, right up as well to get all sorts of um, kind of interesting effects there I mean sometimes you'll be doing these just to try and improve your your photo or your video but sometimes you might be going for a a specific effect as well there is a nice little auto fix um, click here as button as well here where it will try and pick the uh, the best options that it feels will improve your photograph which is great there's also the pan and zoom option which we talked about in the previous video you can now now by using this you can have it on for certain photos and off for other photos if you wish we can even just change the whole thing to grayscale look and take all the color out of it and that for example could be with work where we had two identical ones of the same photo you could even go from a color photo um, a to a black and white version of the same one or in um, reverse we can even rotate um, the photo if you uploaded something at the wrong angle or even just want to um, you know rotate it for kind of funsies um, you can do that so there's loads of kind of cool little things you can do there um, I'll take off the black and white but I'll leave the uh, the pan and zoom back on and I'll just turn off the auto fix for now there's also a load of cool little filters that you can apply and individually to each um, picture and some of them are again to try and improve it but some are just kind of just for fun will give you some lovely effects for example I could turn the whole thing sepia kind of old cowboy film style or I could turn the whole thing neon green to give it a really cool kind of cartoon outline type look and you can even apply several at the same time um, you click once to turn it on you click again to turn it off so I could put thermal on and then I could maybe add on um, um, uh, an old-fashioned one at the same time to give it all kind of blown out of proportion with a slight black and white filter as well really nice effect so have a little fiddle and see what kind of um, things that you like um, you could also um, there's a little button here that says preview effects side by side with original video this will then split uh, what you're doing on the side here and you can see your original photo um, on one side and all of your effects on the left which makes it a lot easier to see if you like the improvements that you've done especially if if it might be a subtle one um, like just adding a little bit of contrast um, and removing a little bit of brightness this time the pictures are a lot more similar to each other but just with that little effect um, that you've added now a very powerful tool is this last one here which is text which means if I turn off the preview here um, I can actually put text over each photograph individually and of course if you split the photographs that means you could actually put different bits of text um, on the same photo twice except it would look like the same photo let me give you an example uh, let's go to um, this little scary picture of a cyberman here in fact no, let's use this kind of this blue one here nasty stuff and let's add um, the text here which is simply going to say Cyberman and you'll see here oh I can't spell Cyberman that's embarrassing let's try that one again here's my little bit of text that says um, Cyberman and if you need to click this bit here that says enable text um, for it to appear now you can see it here at the bottom of my screen loads of options here for you to play with you can change the position of it bottom top center so let's stick this one right at the top we can change the height of it so I can make this a really really big banner by making it 45 percent or I can make it a lot smaller say 15 percent or maybe just a little bit more I can change the opacity which means at the moment see how you can see the Cyberman through it if I change it to hundred percent then we're gonna see nothing through it if I change it to zero percent then that banner we're just gonna kind of see the the text with no banner there at all um, I can change the size of it medium small or large I can change the alignment so I can put it center so we get a nice kind of professional look we can also change the the font here to um, anything kind of sensible or crazy all your normal ones here like Arial, Times New Roman, Comic Sans but lots of distinctive ones here as well if you're looking for a particular style um, for your um, video um, obviously there's bold and italic and depending on the font you'll get kind of different results out of that and then we can change the color of the banner and the color of the font as well so I'm going to go for a kind of um, adipose blue on a white banner background um, which will be my kind of like little distinct 
distinctive look. But this is nice because it means you can give your channel, your video, um, a distinctive theme that makes it um, kind of stand out. And again, of course, if you're using text, make sure you adjust the length that that video will be displayed um, for the uh, for a duration that will allow your viewers to read it. If at any point you want to get rid of this kind of edit screen, you can just click that little X here, and that'll take you back to the more kind of default screen. And have a look at all these little options up here because there's loads of extra little things that you can do here. This is a really advanced editor. First of all, you can see here that a, there's a videos thing. Like I said earlier, you can actually pull your videos into this timeline as well. Um, here's that slideshow I made earlier um, for the beginner's tutorial. I can actually pull that into um, this video, um, which means you can actually kind of put together um, various different um, uh, video. So if, if you made yourself like a kind of introductory credits video with a little logo, you could stick that at the front, then have your content, then have an end credits at the end or something like that. But you can get, that also means that you can go from photographs to videos, back to photographs, back to other videos and put them all together um, into one bigger edited um, video as well. There's also something here called Creative Commons videos. And basically these are other people's videos and uh, you can um, include them because they are they are basically kind of, they're, they're not copyright free, but they're videos that other people have allowed you to put into your videos and re-edit. Now you, if you use other people's videos here, um, it will affect the license and you probably won't be able to monetize. But if that's your first, if this is your first couple of videos anyway, um, that won't really matter. But you can certainly bring these in. If I just pull in the kind of city skyline here, um, you can bring them in and now I've got a lovely bit of footage of a city skyline in my photo montage as well and again the same tools are available I can chop the beginning I can chop the end I can cut at various points um, to get just the little bit that I want and of course all of those little effects if I want to create myself a, a neon green city line um, and just press play to see what that's going to be doing um, then that's something that I can do and of course if you want to remove at any point just click the X as well as well as the Creative Commons, uh, you can include, you can add any more photos at any point, um, and we can add all all the music we want. You see, we've got a video track here at the top, and then we've got an audio track below. And again, just like we saw in the first one, you can search for any tracks that you want, but this time you can cut, you can trim them, and you can have more than one. So, for example, if I really liked, let's say this one here called um, Opening Night, um, you probably won't be able to hear them on this particular video, um, but I can I can drag that down here. Um, into the audio and now I can start trimming it I could pull it down so it only lasts for say 23 seconds or something like that and then again uh, by clicking back I can then grab another music track uh, let's grab this let, let's search for one I don't know what but let, let's do something that does, uh, that's a little bit uh, rock and roll let's get a rock track and then grab this one here called um, elephants why not drag that down and put there and this time I'll, I'll trim from the front rather than from the end and I've now got two different music tracks playing um, in my video which allows you to have a, a change of mood or a change of theme a change of style um, to go with the different images you've got there's so much you can do here plus we've got uh, transitions um, at the moment I've got crossfade 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 I can now change that up a little bit and uh, have different transitions between my uh, photographs let's say I want to get rid of this crossfade here so now my two photographs are right next to each other and I want to put a circle one in there I can just drag that in and you can see where it goes blue it's quite tricky to see here where it goes blue I can just drop that in and that transition is now there and now you can see I've pulled the circle between these two photos here and uh, when I press play you'll see that we get that different transition between the two. There's also some extra options in here as well um, which will allow me to change the direction and, and, and um, alter those transitions and of course at any time if you wish um, you can go and grab some different types of transitions and put different transitions in different places you can even overwrite them directly by um, if I grab this barn door one I can just pull it across and it replace the transition that's there extra options if I want direction edge soft edge softness and things like that and whenever I'm ready I can just grab this little blue thing here to play from wherever I want um, and hit play and you'll see how those different transitions work really really nice and you can get some lovely effects here as well 
Now, the last thing I'm going to show you on this particular one, because there is so much to do here, I'm sure you're bursting with ideas already about what you can do with this, um, is titles. And you might be thinking, hang on a minute, you've already shown me titles because um, you, you, you show me how to put them on the photos. Yes, I did, but this is an object which is a title just by itself. So supposing I wanted to put something right at the front of my video to introduce the whole thing, um, I could put that title on top of another photo, or if you see here, a little blue bars do appear at various different points, and I can stick the title in right at the front. And again, I can lengthen it in terms of time or shorten it in terms of time, and then just edit it just as I want. So let's call this um, Doctor Who Exhibition. And then I can fiddle with that, and I can see it over and over, which is by watching the preview. Um, and it, uh, that particular one comes flying in from one side. Um, you can see it, and yeah, again, I can... Oh, got a little error there. And again, I can kind of alter the colors um, and uh, change the color of the text, the color of the background, um, until I get a title screen that I am happy with. There we are, and there's a nice little title for my video. So hopefully that has given you loads of ideas for what you can do with this particular editor. You can lengthen and shorten the photographs, we can add music, we can add um, titles, we can put captions over different ones. Um, the possibilities here are absolutely huge. So I do hope that you come up with something cool using this, and you're welcome to send me a, um, send me a link in uh, PM, or you can um, put talk about it in the comment section and, and t t tell me the kind of things that you have done but this is a very powerful tool that I know you're going to have a lot of fun with and of course it is completely free and part of YouTube itself. So we will be talking about more advanced video editors in a future video um, but just for now there is more than enough here for you to be getting on with. I hope you found this useful and if you have please give the video a like and if you uh, want to see more YouTube tutorials make sure that you subscribe to the channel as well. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.